she made a pumpkin in Blender, but what to do with it? Well, we can make it a little bit spooky and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. To start, import an image as a plane, which is an add-on default with Blender. Just get some spooky design. The simpler and more geometric, the better. And now scale it up. We're going to go ahead and position that in front. And then in the image's material, we're going to disconnect the alpha and then turn the opacity down. Now we're going to select our plane, the image, and we're going to subdivide it uh, 20 or so times. And then we're going to add a shrink wrap modifier and select our pumpkin. And then we're going to change the offset to just slightly and then scale it up to get the look we want. And then select your pumpkin and apply your subdivision modifier. And now we're going to go ahead with the knife tool on our pumpkin and just cut out all the parts that you don't want. So for this design, it's the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And then once you're done with it, you can go ahead and hide your design by pressing H. And then we're going to select a pumpkin. We're going to go back into edit mode and change from material to our solid view. And then we can use the circle select by pressing C to select all of our faces. And you can scale up how much you select by scrolling your scroll wheel. And we can get those details. And once they're all selected, just delete them. And there we go. We got a jack-o'-lantern. We got our design carved out. You can see what it's supposed to kind of look like. But it doesn't quite look like a pumpkin. Uh, we can shade smooth to make it look a little bit better. But it's still not quite there. So we need to add a solidify modifier. Uh, mess their edges. So we're going to add a bevel. We're going to also apply our scale. That will help. And then mess around with the thickness of your solidify modifier and add a couple more segments to your bevel. That fixed a bit, but not everything. So we also want to add a subdivision surface and we can just keep this at one level. And there we go. It's all fixed up and looks pretty. Got a pretty jack-o'-lantern. I mean, spooky jack-o'-lantern. In our pumpkin material, you can also add another material slot. And then in your solidify modifier, change the material offset for the edges if you want. Now we're going to add a UV sphere, scale it up, add a new texture, name it something like glow, make it an emission texture, change the strength to something like five, uh, and then make sure you have bloom enabled if you're an EV. There we go. And now you're going to change the color to something yellowy, something orangey, something a little bit like candlelight. And look at that. We got a jack-o'-lantern. But now we can do something cool with this because we can animate that emission texture. So if we want to put a keyframe on the strength, and then if we go into the graph editor, we can add a noise modifier and then just mess around with the strength and scale of it a whole bunch. So we don't want it too strong. We don't want too much fluctuation. We want a pretty smooth change in it as well. So we get this kind of ebbing, flowing, candle-like look. And there we go. We got a finished jack-o'-lantern. Did that pretty quick. We can also take our UV sphere and our pumpkin and parent the sphere to the pumpkin. So that way when we move it around, rotate it, whatever we want to do, it moves with the pumpkin. And now if you have this pumpkin base model, you can go ahead and you can duplicate it. And then you can scale it along something like the Z axis if you want to get, you know, like one of those weird long pumpkins for like a longer, taller design. Uh, you can also duplicate it a second time. And then you can maybe scale it on everything but the z-axis or scale it all over. But maybe you're like, but these still look kind of the same design. So you can go into edit mode, select a couple edge loops, and then kind of move around any part of your pumpkin you want to, you know, modify the stem, modify which parts are thick, which parts are thin. So that way, even if you have the same texture, they all look fairly different. Or you can also just grab a whole new image and model yourself a brand fresh new pumpkin. Go out to the, the pumpkin patch of Google Images and go and pick yourself a pumpkin that you think will look cool and that you want to carve a design into. And then just bring it here into Blender and model it you know, yourself. And then you can just find some more images that you want to bring in and, you know, carve some more pumpkins, make some more pumpkins, carve some more pumpkins, you know, make some more. You can never carve too many pumpkins. You can just carve another pumpkin. You can just carve another pumpkin. It's so much fun to carve another pumpkin. You can never have too many pumpkins. You can never have too many pumpkins. You can never have too many pumpkins. This might be too many pumpkins.